All right, let's do the very last one. Um, the ogive. Um, nice name, but it's really cumulative frequency graph. So it's cumulative. So we're going to try to go from zero in the bottom all the way up to your total frequency. In my example that I was using, I had 30 different prescription medication expenses. So my frequency, uh, cumulative frequency will go from zero to 30. So uh, the number that you will go up to depends on how many numbers, your, your, your sample size, but I know mine will go up to 30. So to create the OGI, what you will need to do is first create a table that has cumulative frequencies listed. So let me go back here. And whenever you have these pink highlights on your data set, you should be able to can uh, clear this. So where is the button? I, okay, if I zoom out, I can click on clear and then the pink highlights will go away. So let me go back and try to create a table one more time. I go stat, table, and frequency. And I'm going to just click on prescription medicine expenses and I will just ask them to make one using cumulative frequency because to make an OGIVE, you need cumulative frequency. Okay, you need cumulative frequency. So compute it. Um, and then we got the table right here. So I will go ahead and copy this table. I will co I copy this. I just selected these. And then I'm going to just copy it. Um, I have so many things listed. Oh, you know what? I was working, remember in the previous video, I changed these expenses and these were the medians, right? Let me delete these. Let me get rid of these. Because we're not using me midpoints. I, I said median, I'm sorry. We, we use midpoints, okay? Up here. When we did the frequency polygon, we used midpoints for the x coordinates right we use the midpoints for the x coordinate for frequency polygon we don't use midpoints for the ogive i am assuming that you guys read section 2.1 i can ask you the question what should we use as the x coordinate instead of the midpoint of a histogram or of each interval or classes you know it right you know it use the upper boundaries use the oh uh, maybe I, I think it's called upper limit boundaries okay so if you want to know how to find upper limit boundaries i will show you or we can probably just try to look for it real quick in the textbook um so the ogive right here is plotting the cumulative frequency as the y-axis uh, as a y-coordinate but we are using upper class boundaries what did i call it Upper limit boundary, sorry. <laughs> upper class boundaries. So how do we find these upper class boundaries? You basically just need to add 0.5 to your upper class limit. That's all, really. Um, to find upper class limit, add 0 0.5 to your upper limit. Okay? So if I go back to my chart, um, I have... These were midpoints from my previous video. So instead of these, let me just get rid of all these. And instead of frequencies, I need to copy the cumulative frequency. So it will start from zero because we want our um, frequency, the, the ogive, to start from zero all the way up to a 30. So I do need to start from zero. So for the ogive, one important thing is you create one additional class above your first class to make it a zero okay and then it goes for i can just copy the rest or i'll type it it goes as let me delete it so that i don't get confused okay so the frequency or the cumulative frequency goes from zero for what's next eight 16 26 28 and 30. So I got the frequencies or cumulative frequencies listed. These are going to be the Y coordinate, okay? Um, now I need to find the X coordinate, which will be the upper class boundaries, okay? Upper class boundaries. To find them, like I said, you simply add 0.5 to your upper, uh, upper limit. 
And you knew, you knew this, didn't you? Because guess what? Let me go ahead and search for it. Upper class boundary. It was on page 44. It was on page 44. Take a look. Upper class boundary of a class will equal the lower... What? No, not that one. Here it is. To find the upper class boundaries, add 0.5 to each upper limit. So there is how you find the upper boundary, upper class boundaries. So I'm back over here trying to add some 0.5. So the upper... Let me zoom in for you, okay? So the upper class limit was 149. For this so guess what this will be 149.5 and the next number is 199 so I'll make the limit to be the boundary to be 199.5 and lastly 499.5 you simply need to add 0.5 add 0 0.5 to upper class limit okay now i'm ready to create an ogive so let's go to graph chart and columns i know for these videos you guys can stop at any time so class chart columns and i'm gonna go ahead and click on cumulative frequency that i relabeled re right cumulative frequencies and for the row labels i want them to use the expenses in dollars and these are the upper class boundaries. Um, and I want them to use points with connected lines. We want points with connected lines. Click on it. And let's title this as, how do I want to, um, I, can, I can just call it OGIVE or Prescription Medicine Expenses OGIVE. OGIVE. Okay. And that's it. I can probably change the color if I want. And I will click on Compute. Ta-da! Looks beautiful. So the cell drive starts from zero. Okay? And then it goes all the way up to 30. Right? Um, saying that all prescription medication expenses are in between $149.5. And they were definitely less than uh, $500. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and take a screenshot of it. So when I'm grading your assignments, you know, I will be checking for these numbers. Maybe I'll just check one or two of them. Make sure you are using the upper class boundaries as your x coordinate. Okay. Okay. Take a screenshot. So, you know, for this assignment, you really have to read the section to know what these OGIVE is, to know what this frequency polygon is, that you are using a midpoint for the frequency polygon, and you are using the, I keep forgetting the word, upper class boundaries. And those are what you find by adding 0.5 to your upper limits. But that's enough. That's it. When you are done with your data assignment, you should have one big table, one histogram, a frequency polygon, and the last one is the ogive. And that's it for this assignment. You guys can submit this. If there's anything that you need to fix, I will ask you to just I will just type it in the uh, in the comment box so that you can resubmit. Alrighty.